Hey, what's up everybody? Just real quick thought. If you're having trouble reaching your goals, maybe it's time to change your goal focus. All right, so what do I mean by that? Change your goal focus. What are you talking about, Jesse? Well, a lot of times people are focused on, listen, I gotta lose 20 pounds, I gotta lose 30 pounds, right? So that's their goal. They're 100% focused on that, that goal of losing 20 or 30 pounds. Now, the problem is they'll set this goal of losing 20 to 30 pounds and then their way of getting there is, well, I'm going to start eating healthier. I'm doing a pretty good job of eating healthy now. And I'm also going to be doing some exercise. So I'm, I'm making exercise more regular. Okay, that's great. But their focus is still just the goal of losing 20 to 30 pounds. So they keep on checking back to the scale week after week. It's not really moving the way they want. They're looking in the mirror. Their body isn't really changing the way that they want. So what I'm suggesting is to change that goal focus. And instead of focusing on that end result goal, start focusing on the process goals. And what I mean by process goals are, is in order to reach that goal, there are certain things that you must do on a consistent basis. And that's what you wanna track. That's what you wanna gauge yourself on. Because if you're doing all the processes correct and consistently, then you can really track down that goal, okay? So for instance, if you wanna lose 20 or 30 pounds, what are some things that you can do right now to help you lose that weight? Well, one thing is you could incorporate exercise on a regular basis, which you may have said, well, yeah, I'm gonna start exercising. Well, well now, instead of saying I'm gonna start exercising or doing some exercise, it becomes a process goal. And maybe what that process goal is, is I'm going to do 30 minutes of exercise three days a week. And you'll pick exactly what that exercise is. I'm gonna do 30 minutes of strength training. I'm gonna do 30 minutes of cardio, whatever it is. But that is your process goal. And that's what you're gonna focus on. And that's what you're gonna judge yourself on, not on the scale. And so every week when you go back and you look at what you did, look at whether or not you hit your goal, your goal is did you do all the things you promised yourself you're gonna do for the process. And same thing with nutrition. And the great thing is if you start doing that, then you get to see yourself making some wins when you're consistent, but you'll also be able to see when you're coming off of the rails. So you focus on the process. And then another good thing about that is if you don't see yourself getting closer to your result goal, you could always go back and tweak one of your processes. All right, so that's it. Change your goal focus if you're not hitting your goals. All right, focus on the process. All right, any questions, of course, as always, guys.